Hey guys, it's Kylie and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I do a diamond painting. So I have completed, I think it's two diamond paintings so far, and I have my next one right here. This is the castle. It's going to be Cinderella's castle. I really love these. I find them very relaxing to do. They do take a long time to get done. Even the small ones take like 15 hours to do. Um, so it is a like a relaxing thing, but they do take up a lot of time. So I'm just going to kind of go through how I organize the diamond painting to start it off, and then I'm going to kind of montage me actually completing the diamond painting. I'm very excited to do this one as it is Cinderella's castle um, and something that we all know and love from Disney World. So to start off the kit they come with, I've kind of already opened it up, but it comes with this little thing that has a the diamond pen, um, some wax, little baggies, and this is a square diamond. Um, so the diamonds are square shaped, so it comes with tweezers and then it comes with the standard green tray. I actually have a few other trays and um, pens that I might use over the course of this that you might see me using. And then opening it up, you have your canvas um, that has the sticky paper on it. And then you have this bag that has your beads and your um, like sheet that has your inventory on it. So I have all my beads and then I have my inventory sheet, which is this. Um, there are... 29 different colors in this um, so most of them are single colors and then I have 20 of the 3865s I have a lot of bags of those um, so I'm just going to kind of go through and take inventory of this and I'll show you me doing that so I'm just going to kind of go through and take inventory on what I have versus what I need um, so in this, it gives us all these little bags of beads. Just be careful with these because they are kind of fragile. So on my 3756s, I have four bags of those. So it says four right here, so I'm just going to put a check because that's how many that I'm supposed to have. Um, I have four 827s. Then I'm just going to go through and do this for all the different ones. So lastly, I just have these whites. I'm just going to make sure there's 20 bags. So I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20. So I have 20 bags of these. So we have everything that we are supposed to have. And now I'm going to show you how I sort my beads when I get started. Um, so I take these little containers. I just got these up at Amazon. You just have to be careful because sometimes they do pop open on their own. I haven't ordered bigger containers yet, but I'm going to do that soon for like when I have large amounts of this. So this is probably just going to end up in multiple of these. These hold like three to four bags a piece in them. Um, so they do hold a lot of diamonds. And then I take labels and I take a label maker and just make labels for all the different containers. And I like to do them in numerical order. And except for like this one, I'm going to just put separate because there's so many of it. But if there's only a few bags of them, I like to put them in numerical order. So they make like special diamond label makers. I just have this regular one that I use and I think it works perfect for me. Um, so I'm just going to go through my list and make a ton of labels and then print them all out and put them on. So I typed in a ton of the numbers and just printed out a train of all the different numbers. I'm going to do this one more time with the rest of them. And then I'm going to use that to label all of my different um, cases and put in all the little bags of beads. It's easier doing this because there is some extra on the end. So it saves some of the paper to do all of the whole group of them at once. Um, but it does use a lot of label printing, just so you know. Um, so I'm just going to clear out that and finish the rest of the labels and then I will show you how I put them on. So now I have all the labels make it made, naked. I made all the labels and I'm going to go through and cut them up and put them on these. So these cases come with 28 little containers. So I did grab another one from one of my other cases because there's 29 colors in this. I'm going to use this whole strip for all the whites um, just to keep them separated. 
But I'm just going to go through and cut all these and then put the put them on the different cases in order. So now that I have all the labels on the different cases, I'm going to go through and cut open the diamonds and put them in here gently. I'm actually going to use this white tray that I have, put the diamonds in here, and then pour them into here. It just makes it easier because this has a little spout and it goes into these nice and easily. So I'm going to start with this one just because that's what I have. And I just go through and cut up all of the cut off all of them. It's actually like a diamond stuck in the middle. So I just cut off the end and gently pour it into this. You just want to be careful not to like shake everything everywhere or they will go everywhere. So I'm just cutting off all of the tops. So now I took all the 827s and poured them into this nice little tray. And now I'm going to open up the container that's 827 and just gently pour, wiggle them all in to the container. So these containers do fit four bags. Um, so that was four bags of 827s. And I don't have anything on this diamond painting except for the 3865s that have more than four bags. So that is very helpful. Um, so they fit perfectly in these, they will all fit perfectly in these little containers. Um, so I'm just going to go through and put all the um, diamonds into their respective containers and then I'll show you what I do next. Okay, so now I put everything in the little cases. I actually have a few extra beads that don't fit in this case. Um, so I have to figure out what to do with those because I am currently filled with cases. So I think I'm going to order some more. But I have my canvas here and you can kind of see how it like arcs up. So I'm going to go through and fix that. So to do that, you just peel up the corners. Um, this is just like a paper on top of it. So I'm just going to take up the corner. So I just take it up. Um, and pull off um, the covering and then you just kind of go through and you can smooth it right out and see how flat that already is just by doing that it just flattens out the whole thing and then I'm going to do that down here too take off the covering and you can tell once you get to the part that you already did it comes off really smoothly you got the castle in the middle you can see all the white around it with the clouds and we're just going to go through and place down that nice and smooth. So now we have a nice smooth canvas and we can start going over everything to actually start the diamond painting. So what I like to do is just kind of measure out um, different things and draw lines on them and then I'm going to cut those lines and that's how I'm going to like kind of block off areas that I'm going to do. The easiest way to do this is to use the sides um, just to figure out everything. So like I know up at the top here it's a lot of white, um, so I'm going to want to do that all kind of together, um, and then it gets into the blues in the castle. But I'm going to do some vertical lines down here with my pencil and a ruler, and just figure out all, all that. Okay, so I drew very light lines through this, so that splits it up into four sections. And now I'm just going to go through and cut off a small section. I like to start in the bottom corner um, and work my way, like up this row and then over because I am a righty so my hand gets on this and I don't want it to get stuck to it um, so I just find it easier to start here so I'm just going to cut off a some of the strip so that I have it you could use an exacto knife that'd probably be easier but I do not own an exacto knife so I just like to peel up the side and then I just kind of cut along the line I just drew so I'm just going to show you with this little square right here that I made um, how much I'm actually going to do of this diamond painting so I have a little square right here and you may be able to see that there's little designs on it that's how you know um, what thing to do so the little check marks those are all the white ones and then there's a couple other designs in there so I'm just gonna show you how I use the pens and stuff to do it I actually take it off my iPad to do it um, I have enough lighting on in here that I don't need the light pad behind it so I don't mind it um, so I'm just going to take a pen that I already have out and use that. So this is just a regular um, diamond pen. So I just take this and I take this red wax. Uh, let me grab some red wax. And I have some red wax. This is red wax I've already used. I'm just trying to use that one before I use others. And you just take it, stick it into the red wax. So it kind of fills the inside all up with red wax. And that's what you use to stick it. 
Um, so you then just open up your little container and pour it into one of these trays. Oops, sorry, I just knocked you over a little bit. Um, pour some into one of these trays. Now these trays have little ridges in them. So when you shake them out, they all kind of line up, which is awesome. So I'm just going to show you like the single um, dot method. So you just kind of take this um, and squares, you want to make sure you're pretty precise on them because um, they will like pop up if they're, you're, they're not perfect. So that one actually ended up taking two. But you just kind of go through. Um, a lot of people like to do like a checkerboard pattern with the squares. They find it easiest. If they do the checkerboard pattern, then they fit in nicely. Um, and line up pretty good so you just kind of go through and do that and then each design you go through and switch the color based on the key that's on the side over here um, which thing you do and now I'm just going to start doing this and kind of montage my progress and if there's anything I want to point out to you um, I'll show you that but I will say one thing I do have the six pen, um, diamond things so if I can get a row of six for you um, I'll show you what I do there so this is a row right here. You can just take the end of this, it already has wax on it, and you just poke it onto that, and it picks up a bunch of diamonds at once. And especially in a section like this where there's a lot of them, you can just go through and do the whole row at once. So it makes it a lot quicker for ones that there's a lot of white, so I'll probably do a lot of the white with this one, and then do the other colors with the single one. Oreo, Oreo, Oreo.
So guys, here's the final product of my um, diamond painting. This is what the castle came out to look like. Um, I really appreciate you guys watching the montage of me making it. Um, this was really fun to make. It was a lot of white. Um, I wasn't expecting just as much white as there was on the outside. Um, so it was a lot of white. It was fun to be able to use the multi um, diamond placer a little bit more and get used to using that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions about diamond paintings, definitely leave them in the comments down below. I'm definitely going to be doing a couple more diamond painting videos. Um, I think that's definitely going to be a more common thing on this channel, but keeping it Disney style still. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, definitely let me know, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!